Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name is Nerdy. And I'm Claire Rose. And this is the... Expong. Nope. The... Nerdy Wordy Book Club. Nope. The... My favorite word. Oh, penultimate. It's the penultimate episode of the whole... <laughs> Flippin' show. You're gonna tell me I was wrong. Your, I said your sister was a witch, bro. I, she came down in a bubble. We need to stop yelling that at each other so often. You're the you yell it at me. <laughs> you start it every time and then I pick it up. You you do that. You tell me that I was wrong and then I can't not continue it. Right, right. This is the You're penultimate, the second from the end, the amuse bouche of the finale. That is one of the greatest television shows ever made. Yeah might be the greatest television show. Why is it almost over? Mm, because all um, good things come to an end. I blame Jeffrey Timothy Bezos. Do you think his name's Jeffrey Timothy? No, I don't think so. You don't know. Um, I don't know, but I don't think so. That's, you're probably right. Are you stalling? No. I Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't want this to be over. This show's so damn good. If you want the full length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. And when the finale comes out, um, stay a patron after that point, please. Please. We do have a We know our Patreon, Patreon is like 45% <laughs> expanse people. Uh, and watching you all flee for your lives in two weeks is going to be a little rough. It's going to be sad. Flee for your lives. I um, understand, though. But until then, let's watch the <laughs> ultimate episode. Let's do it. You fix things. I have a feeling this Laconia shit is not relevant to the main plot. It's just a little short film series that plays at the beginning of episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably important to like book nine or some shit. Yeah. What if they brought back The Expanse for the last three books? I think that the excitement would be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. We would become a full-time Expanse channel. Because it would be the only thing I would want to talk about. I know. Alex has Star Wars, Don has Lord of the Rings, and I would be the Expanse boy. Hell yeah. There's an awkward nerdy boy with a red-headed wife for every um, fandom, and I would be the <laughs> Expanse's one. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? The baby was kidnapped from the kidnapper. Baby! Baby girl? Are you up there? Oh no. That little boy's gonna walk into the woods and be like, Hello, mother. Baby girl? Would you like to play a game? These poor parents are I just know. going through it. They don't deserve any of this shit. They just wanted to do science. Oh, it's so bad. Kara? Is that you? Wait, it worked? What does it mean to be in substrate? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's got like protomolecule vision. The dogs fixed you. I don't like it. The dogs fixed you. Yep. Wow. 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 What are what are books seven through nine about? I know. Because I feel like Marco gets taken out. I feel like this season... Books seven through nine are dealing with resurrection magic. Because four through nine feel like the Marco and Aros trilogy. Uh, right? You have the, like, Gate trilogy, and then you have the Marco and Aros trilogy. Who was it really in season four, though? Yeah, it was. His whole trial? Killing Ashford at the end? I just mean he wasn't like... Uh, it wasn't like the, a main part of it. But I... Yeah, I guess. It's my favorite part of that season, so... Well, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but the trial scene is like one of the best scenes in that... Is is maybe the best scene in that whole trial... In that season. Yeah. When they're all like over him floating in the fucking... That, that scene is incredible. Debating on whether they're going to space him or not. Oh no, we're just going straight into a battle. All right. This is the MCRN fighting the MCRN. F 
That shot was wild. Yo, this is sick. Medina Station. This is the MCRN. Your free Navy sentries at the ring have been eliminated. The problem is there's nothing like Medina Station in the entire galaxy, and they kind of need it. Mm, yep. Uh, maybe they don't, but... Did Cortazar manage to get that the weapons on that thing up and running? Yes, I learned his name is Cortazar. Finally. Did you think it wasn't going to work? This calls for a celebration. Are they finally gonna fuck? I don't wanna see that. I don't wanna see it, but like the sexual tension between them is wild. They mounted the guns on titanium bands laid right along the surface. The assembly holds itself together. And since the station has effectively infinite inertia, it's a perfect emplacement. Because it can't move. The last time we detonated a nuke near the ring station, it powered up and nearly wiped out the entire solar system. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Yeah. No, ma'am, but... If we have to send more people to their death, the least we can do is give them a fucking chance to win. <laughs> oh, boy. You gotta inspire the belt. I mean, look, the MCRN, their plan was dumb and, yeah. like, thoughtless, but it got them the information they needed to maybe pull this off. Sure, at the cost of so many ships, though, like... Oh, yeah, it's bad. You used your best judgment. And lost. There is no price for the best victim. Go do something else. <laughs> That's the politest dismissal ever, given mm. the situation. <laughs> Go do, just do anything else. Don't be in this room. He tried to justify them by saying the protomolecule was the key to ensuring the survival of our species. Stuff like this makes him seem right. Oh, wow. This show's very good. Anytime anyone goes through a ring, they don't realize they're taking a massive risk. Dava Sorella needs to see this. This is bigger than the war. <laughs> Something funny. No. Something good. Thank God. Yeah! <laughs> If you do not submit to these procedures, we will not let you know. Captain Drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that guy. Fuck him. We will be treated as sovereign territory. Your crews are also welcome on the station. I love this show so much. <laughs> the Belters here are hungry and I have food. I came for them. Not you. All right. Let's go, Kamina. You fucking rock. Be made available to the crew at the end of our next ship. If Marco loses because his whole crew is hammered during the final fight, I'm gonna lose my mind. That would be hilarious. You're lucky that they didn't space you. Huh? I, I wasn't thinking about me. I was going crazy. I, I just needed to know that Mass was okay. And he was always there for me. Like, what did, like, uh, yeah, innocent mistake, but this guy's a great character. Yeah. And a great beard. Got a lot going for him. You gonna grow yours out that long? I can't. It gets too bleh on the sides. You can shape it. <laughs> oh my god! Maybe your inner friends could give us some of the joke. I will not beg favors from them. I love they were like, we're going to give you a really weird hand, but we're also going to let you show off your abs. Here's my clinic in Midtown, outside Green Zone. Come, and it will be done. Yeah, yeah, you, you brought a lot of food and supply. I can't with the fucking baby hand. 
But also just the way they lit his abs for that scene to be like, this guy fucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Just let me know when you have a little time and I'll come to you. See you soon. Hmm. Wow. Initial reports suggest he might be right. Oh, one good apple, sometimes that's all it takes. Like the best news ever, and she's like, initial reports. Yeah. There's too much. <laughs> this is no time to worry about the swim back. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, set up in the x-ray, but that's so interesting. I heard you had some interesting times out there, as usual. You should set up an interview. <laughs> Never, ever. Ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for seeing me so quickly. I know you've got a lot going on. You rarely waste my time. One of the few. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's connected to the artifact we discovered on Ellis, and it's happened a number of times. I think I need to up my dosage. <laughs> <laughs> I need harder drugs. Yeah, same. Kamina drummer. I need an ally. A belter, with ships and guns, was respected by her own kind. You won't find anyone better. Drummer has no love for Marco, but she's no friend of Earth either, and she's not going to trust you. <laughs> on Earth, I once put a belter up on hooks. To suffocate him. It's the first thing she did on the show was torture somebody. Remember that? It was a while ago. It is not who I am now. Hmm. Wild. Hey, is he okay? Sparkly. Someone's got a bad case of shore leave. Oh, he was at the brothel. Ah. You've got lipstick and scratches on your neck. Yep. <laughs> Trying to forget how much I hate politics. Good luck. In an election year? I'm not sure I'm going back. In the penultimate episode? Sometimes it feels <laughs> like he's trying to get us killed. It's a beautiful shot. I guess it balances out. I'm not a man who does things by degrees. <laughs> In the end, the only thing that matters is fighting for who's covering your flank. Doesn't matter if they're saints or assholes, they're your people. Fucking Bobby motherfucking Draper. Yeah. That's right. So back to the ship. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. She gets it. Brothel first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, here we go. You won't come with? With you. Or with you. <laughs> you only live once. I really thought she was going to get up and go with him. She might have. Yeah. That was the easy part. Doctors are expert liars. <laughs> I never loved you because you were fighters. I loved you because you were builders. I wanted us to build something together. Camila lost everything this season. I know. Like literally everything. Thank you, boss man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not on the deck. They're celebrating. Just like crying because a polycule fell apart. The Expanse. A totally not woke show. <laughs> Was your father big in your life? I never knew him. So you improved upon the role. 
It's a low bar. <laughs> the Baratnas we lost. All will have been for nothing. There's no turning back now. This is a really smart play on her part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, no! <laughs> Your dad was about to be proud of you. You were so close to getting back in, Philip. It's my fault. Oh, it's Diana's fault. No. They occupied the station. The soldiers no, had... No, I killed him. Did you lay those bombs? I was on the crew. They planted the bombs and rigged the docks to blow. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you think Philip knew that they laid those? I don't think so either. He was in prison at the time. Right? I don't think he knew. <sighs> I planted the bomb that killed my own brother. Oh my god, this fucking show. There's no need. I will wait my turn. Don't waste your time on this. You have more important things to do. You're a boss. Yeah. My apologies. No need. It's good to see you. Oh, wow. Drummer is like, I, I ain't got nothing left. What do you want? <laughs> like, fuck. Ah. I can choose to wait for the bounty to go high enough that someone kills me. Or I can put a collar on my neck and hand it in as the leash. <sighs> this universe has no place for me. Jesus fucking Christ. It's to stand by the people that we love. What else is there? You self-righteous shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Advance. Archangel is in the dark. Her name Archangel? Who? Officer Allah. They call her the Archangel? Kamina hmm. uh, Drummer! I have given your people many reasons to hate me, but none to think I'm a liar. Fair? Let's go. Well done. Let's go. Oh, Marco is fucked. Uh, not as fucked as I wish he was. Nah, Carmina. Is... Oh, it's gonna be a rough finale. I can't believe we're at the finale. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh wow. 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 That Bobby Amos scene this episode. Oh, so good. What a, like, what a finale for them. Not, not that they're not in the finale, but, like, for the, like, Just um, that moment the theme too. of their characters. Yes. Yeah. And, and how, like, wow. like, Bobby and Amos, I think, can be perceived similar in certain ways, but, like, the difference in how they view the world. Mm -hmm. And, like, mm -hmm. like, like, Bobby growing up as a Martian, as a Marine, as a, like, soldier, and what she learned from yeah. that. You know, 100%. so important. Um, Cause like I, I understand Amos. Like he's in a way, like he's kind of right. It's like okay, well, I trusted this person to do the right thing, and I, in my brain, cannot put two and two together to make this math yeah. for me. The math ain't mathin'. Exactly, but it's not. It's because it's not math. I don't know. It's fucking like. Yeah, no, I get it. It's 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 literature, it's creativity, it's open to interpretation in that way. And you and Amos could have chosen to in, interpret it differently, but like at the end of the day, Bobby knows what to say. Yeah. 
I gotta say, I think that one of the one of the uh, unsung heroes of the Expanse is that this show might have the best cast of like strong female characters in any show ever. Yep. I, I can't think of another show that has as many varied women mm-hmm. who are in places of power. Yep. Fucking rock in it. Yep. Like this show does. Um, except maybe like same. House of the Dragon a little bit with having like Queen Rhaenyra and then having Alicent on the other side. Even that, There's a lot of women plays, in that show who... Even that though plays with the idea of a patriarchy and like a monarchy from like a king's perspective, right? The whole, a big part of oh, House of the sure, Dragon sure, yeah, yeah. is that a woman can't be like the queen. And like that's not really like a thing in the Expanse. We've like... Yeah thank God, move past this idea that, like, women can't lead or be in positions of power. Whereas, you know, I think that show, like, kind of deals with that. Whereas this one I just is, meant, like, like, the quality of the female characters. A hundred percent. Like, it's so nice to see. And, like, I yeah. love seeing... I love seeing content where that's not, like, a question. Like, I enjoy seeing content where it's like, okay, we're going to dismantle it and we're going to, like, make it a point of it. Mm-hmm. But it's never the point of this show. It is yeah. just the fact that there is no discrimination between genders like yeah i also think that it's just nice to have this many female characters in a show have as big a part as they've had without sexual assault being a narrative for any of them yeah you know what i mean and and i that i only i don't say that out of anything other than it is a well that so much western media dips into in terms of storytelling around female characters and around their character growth is like oh they have to overcome something and the easiest thing is that right yeah Um, not to overcome, but to just, like, throw in casually. And so for this show to just not go there at all, I think is um, a testament to the the ability of it to just really have... I mean, look at this episode, right? You have Naomi, you have Drummer, you have Bobby, Mm -hmm. you have Christian Avasarala, you have Marco's right-hand woman, like, and and the reporter. Like, you have, like, six, arguably, the, the six biggest characters in this episode. Right, Holden is really on this in this episode to like deliver information to Avasarala. Yeah, Amos like gets his like lesson from Bobby. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, Marco Anaros is like <laughs> almost mothered by his right hand. Yeah, uh, the the only like male character who kind of leads his own narrative in this episode is Philip. Yeah, and I just think that like for this show to have so many women who are all batting at a thousand right now and who are bringing like S tier acting and narrative and arc. I love it. It's amazing. I, I really love it. I, I think that it's one of the things about The Expanse that doesn't get talked about enough, and I, I think that they deserve so much credit for it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I, I I really want to read the books. You oh, know, fuck I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, we've talked about it. We're going to do kind of book clubs. We're going to, like... We're going to figure it out. Fi- figure that out, because, like, I just... I want more. I, I'm not ready for this to be over. <laughs> no, and, and, like, knowing that... It's going to be one of those weird experiences where there isn't another TV series where... I like it this much, and there are books that go past the show. Yeah. Right? The only the only series that's kind of similar is Game of Thrones, but it's the opposite, where the show now goes past the books. Um, yeah. And probably will forever. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, this episode was incredible. I That final scene was awesome. Yeah. I, Carm- Carmina gets maybe all of the best stuff this season. <laughs> like, she has the best arc this season with losing all of her family. This and is becoming, her season. It is. Like, last season was Naomi's. Yeah. But this is Kamina's. Getting the um, uh, die empty, live live shame and die empty is like... Yeah, live shamed and die empty. Yeah. That, what, what, like, what? I know. Uh, it is incredible what Karagi, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, has done with this character from yeah. such a small part when she was introduced. Yep. Uh, to one of the most important pieces of the, like, narrative of the show. Yeah, what else is she in? I'm sure, like, Kat no is going to know. I've never seen I, her in anything else. I'm sh- I would love to see her in in something else, because I, I think she's fucking brilliant. Yeah. It would be weird to see her without the Belter accent. Yeah. At this point, you know what I mean? And the, like, eyeshadow. Like, at least with Ashford, I had seen him in other things before. Yeah. Um... You know, the Bourne movies and, and stuff like that. Sure. But, yeah, I can't imagine her without, yeah, that dark eyeshadow and that accent. Okay, I know you, like, cast, um, I know, like, you cast um, the 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 Well of Ascension in Book Club. But I was mm-hmm. like, oh, you know what? Like, she would be a good Tindwell. Cargi? Yeah. I would buy that yeah. casting immediately. Buy that 100%. 
Yeah. Um, this was great. 10 out of 10. No notes. I'm here for the ride. I'm... We have one more episode. I know, I know. How do you feel about that? Um, we also have like three more of the x-rays we got to watch. Yeah, yeah. We should do that. If you like the episode, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is... Kamina Drummer. Kamina motherfucking drummer. And all the other women on the show because they've all they just ate. crushed it. If, yeah. Yeah, truly. No crumbs. Yeah. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Night. I'm at Clars Flores. Yo, what's up? Internet, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Bye.